The Nile River is 4,160 feet long, yet only 22% of the river runs through Egypt. When speaking of ancient Africa, most people are unaware of the many other successful Nile Valley civilizations that existed. One of those ancient civilizations was ancient Nubia, also known as Kush. Nubia was located along the Nile River and is now modern-day Sudan. Nubia was one of the first civilizations of Africa. Nubians were strong and influential warriors that played a vital role in the creation and evolution of ancient Kemet. The Nubians were also very skilled in archery and many of their rulers and leaders were actually women. The Nubians are considered to be one of the oldest ethnic groups in the world. They're known for their kind nature great hospitality and rich culture. Nubia was Egypt's connection to the eastern and southernmost parts of Africa's riches where they were able to trade things like copper, gold, ivory, incense, and rare animals. Nubia was rich and powerful and it later became a threat to Egypt which made it easier for Egypt to take control. Nubia and Egypt had periods of war and peace but Nubia was rich in ceramic, metal, and agriculture so Egypt wanted parts of it. In 1504 BC, Pharaoh Thutmose I of Kemet invaded Nubia. Egypt ruled Nubia from the 1500s to the 1100s. Nubia was famous for being the home of many powerful kingdoms. The most prominent was the Kingdom of Kush, which conquered Egypt in the 8th century BC. This brought on the birth of the 25th dynasty. This was a special time for Egypt because a number of pharaohs that were in power integrated Egyptian culture with Nubian culture. This was known as Kemet's Golden Kingdom. During this time, Kemet was a bit stagnant, but with Nubia being the new rulers of Kemet, it helped to bring them out of that stagnancy by fostering in new art and new temples. The Nubians ruled Kemet for about 100 years, but then they were pushed out by the Assyrians. Throughout the history of Egypt and Nubia, there was extensive interchange between cultures. Many Egyptian pharaohs and Nubian queens had each other's DNA and heritage in their blood long before the 25th dynasty. After Kemet was conquered and Nubia was pushed out by the Assyrians, the Nubians returned south and continued to thrive. Nubians remained independent long after Egypt was conquered by the Greeks, the Romans, the Byzantines, and the Arabs.